no one knows this whole scenario more than you. You 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 won a world championship there. You've seen, you've lived these player dumps and rebuilds, right? And you're an iconic player with that franchise and in that city. So what is going on and what is the reaction from you to this whole situation? You know, honestly, you know, uh, I'm tired as a fan of being patient. This is a tough situation. The fans enjoy baseball. They love baseball. They have stars like him come out of there. You hear many big leaders that are from South Florida. This is unacceptable to continue to process this and play like this. And you have to show some level of commitment, not only to the fans, but to your organization. You had controlling options with arguably one of the best outfielders with Yelich Ozuna in the game, and you give them away. The list of all-stars that they've traded away from that organization is it, just mind-blowing, but yet they want fans to come. No one's going to sit in traffic. No one's going to pay that type of money to go see guys struggling like that. And that's no disrespect to the guys on that ball club. They're playing their hearts out and they're trying their best. Of course. They need some leadership. They need some staying power. And also, they want to feel a level of commitment. They don't want to be in an organization that is one day they're here, they could be sent down the next day, they could be traded the next day. It's uncomfortable and it's tough to play like that. And I hope they turn it around sooner than later because fans are tired of it and I am too. That's well said. How do you wow. turn it around? I mean, wow. th this is not like a snap of the fingers. I mean, and I love those guys on that team. I, I, I really do. And I'm not trying to step on any toes, but th enough's enough with that. They have the stadium. They're worried about the stadium. They have it. The fans deserve it, especially they're paying for that stadium now to have a good product. That's right. Like that. it, it, they are paying for that stadium. So it's impossible. Why would you go? There's no, and there's no disrespect. These yeah. guys are trying hard, but you can't trade away those assets and expect to be good. Yeah, the one thing is, is it has the potential to be one of the trophy assets in Major League Baseball. It's the gateway to South America. No state taxes. Billion-dollar stadium. Jimmy Johnson built it the best. You have the 500-mile radius from that stadium. You have the greatest players in the world. Draft them, stay with them, and when they go away like Machado and Hosmer, Bring them back for a discount. Interesting. We'll see if it goes. We'll see if it plays. You heard earlier in the show, though, drafting all these high school kids. How about Bumgarner being back and the overall boost, what it does to the Giants, who are right in this race? Well, this is not just a team start. This is an organization. This is uh, a Bay Area. This is like the <laughs> yeah. whole franchise, right? Because it gives you a little bit of hope. It gives you a forecast of what could be a great summer and hopefully even a better fall. But again, the goal for Matt is you have to get your 90 pitches in. He looked really good, like you said, pounding the strike zone. But again, you want him to stay healthy. But more importantly, you want him to wake up tomorrow morning feeling even better. See, he was different than Martinez. He had command of the slider, and he had command of the changeup, and he competed with that. But he didn't have command of the fastball. His velocity was OK. His velocity was there, 89 and 91. But he has to get more feel of his arm angle and the slot and be able to pound off that fastball. And that's key for him. But he's a competitor. This is huge. Keep him healthy. It takes a lot of pressure off that rotation as well as that bullpen because once he gets the full strength, he can eat a lot of innings and go deep in ball games. Now, D, he's a world champion, left-handed pitcher. So are you. What is the hardest thing for you when you come back? What is the biggest challenge as a left-handed pitcher? I, for, honestly, heart rate. To slow yourself down, be able to see the progressions, see what the hitters are trying to do, and see where you are with the strike zone. And again, he went to a lot of the through the innings and a lot of the lineup throwing a lot of sliders. And you know what happens is now you realize as a hitter he doesn't have his fastball command, and now you mm -hmm. sit on that slider and area, beat him the second and third time around. He's going to get his fastball command. That is huge for him to be able to pound the fastball inside to right-handers because that opens up not only the inner half but the outer half to set up that breaking ball. That's the key. For him, he'll find that field. Meanwhile, if uh, they win, they would be a half game out of first place.